He can walk around it. He can stick his head inside of it. Find out how a jet engine works inside a virtual reality cave. Or maybe just brush up on your painting. <laughs> you can like walk through it too. Yeah. It's not an arcade. What if I told you this was going on at an institution of higher learning? That's right. They're gaming it up in Oxford at Miami University. I and mean, this is this is a massive industry. And the video game industry alone is larger than Hollywood and music combined. Professor Glenn Platt is the director of interactive media studies at Miami. He says instead of parents telling kids to get off the couch, maybe it's time to look at the possibilities. It's really a form of entertainment, much like television. These games have become so sophisticated that there are storylines and plots, and there's an engagement that's not dissimilar from television or movies for people. Don't worry, loves. Cavalry's here. <gasps> It's part of the reason the university is all in. Miami's gaming program ranked third out of all public schools by the Princeton Review and 16th in the world. Miami grads littered throughout the industry. I knew you were there. <laughs> but it's not just about the popular games like Fortnite and Overwatch. Major companies you hear about every day in greater Cincinnati, like P&G, Macy's, Kroger, and graders are all looking for young people who know this technology. Anything that's got points, levels, rewards, this is things that we use every day, right? Those are all game mechanics. The dashboard in your car that tells you how you're doing relative to other drivers, those are game mechanics. And in an effort to foster this creative computer environment, Miami actually has a varsity esports team. That's right. 30 students who compete against about 80 other college teams all across America in a variety of video games. Led into battle by academic advisor Chad Reynolds. He used to be a track and field coach. Now he's coaching this. They log the same amount of time. They're committed to the, to the uh, game. Logging the amount of uh, work in to be successful. Calvin Sanvi is from Monroe in our area. He had no idea he'd ever celebrate a championship. Victory. He was on the Overwatch team that beat Georgia Southern for the national title. I just kind of just came to Miami looking for an IT degree. And then this started when I was in my third year of college. The varsity start program started in fall of 2016. They have their own eSports arena at the school. State-of-the-art equipment, furniture, and uniforms. They even give a partial scholarship to a gamer, and they're hoping someday they'll get the green light to offer full rides, just like traditional college sports, so they can lure in top talent to make Miami University a launching pad for gaming success. I had to, I'm sorry. And so if we start training students how to see the world as this collection of these different game opportunities and game mechanics, then there are jobs they can go into in marketing, jobs that they can go into in promotions, jobs that they can go into in psychology and education. It's far more than just fun and games. At Miami University in Oxford. So there's a whole new world out there that I knew absolutely nothing about. Pro gaming teams, first of all, bring in 10 to $20 million a year. You've got massive online audiences with more viewers than most traditional sporting events. And yes, it is the same technology used for your Kroger card or your graders card or even in your car. It's why we're now seeing these options at universities just like Miami. Mike Dardis, WLWT News 5. <laughs>